Have you ever just sat there and watched a tree grow? I don't mean sitting on the river bank with a glass of wine and your favourite person gazing up into the trees. I mean just sat there and concentrated on the growth of that tree, waiting for a new leaf to unfurl. Of course you haven't. Nobody has. But the tree is still growing, regardless of whether you're watching it or not. It never stops. The only time you notice the growth is when you haven't seen it for a while and you drive past and suddenly you're astonished. The last time you were here it was only this tall. Now it's huge. That tree does something every day to continue growing, but no one notices. Given the right conditions, the tree will never stop growing. Your business needs to be like that tree. If you do something every day, no matter how insignificant you think it might be, it might be creating a spreadsheet to track customer orders, or stacking up some social media posts for scheduled releases. It all adds up. It adds to the greater wealth of your enterprise. And everything you do will bear fruit, either as something that you'll never have to do again, or as new knowledge that'll carry you forward to your success. People are overwhelmed by this concept, and I understand why. It's a monumental task, and there's no guarantee of success. In my book, Make Money From Photography, I talk about the daunting prospect of starting a portrait photography business at almost 50 years of age. And I can still remember turning to my wife and saying, I don't think I can do this. But I did do it. I just chipped away a little bit more every day. Now I have a business that generates a seven figure annual turnover. And it's not from being the smartest kid on the block or aiming for the top end of town. That's exactly the kind of misinformation that I want to steer you away from. The people who will provide 80% of your income are the two to three thousand dollar sales, not the top end of town twenty and thirty thousand dollar sales. Yes, they come along, but they don't come along very often. These educators, and I use the term very loosely, who strut around on the internet telling you how good they are, generally aren't that good. Remember the tortoise and the hare? Everybody remembers the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise beat the hare because it didn't stop. It took one step after another without being distracted. But the hare pranced around in front of the pretty girls telling them how good he was and how he was going to win the race. We all know what the outcome of that story was. I think one of the hardest things to do is believe in yourself. To be the tortoise. To have that blind faith that everything is going to be great. When cash flow is short and you need more clients, or when your friends and family have gone quiet on you. I think he's gone a bit loopy. He really thinks this is going to work. That's when you need to devote even more time to getting everything ready. This is when, because you've prepared, you ride the wave, while the others watch you from the shore thinking, I wish I could surf. Think of an ice sculpture. At the beginning, it's just a block of ice with no shape or form. But bit by bit, it becomes a masterpiece when the artisan projects their vision onto it. So for now, just hack away at the block of ice because you can see the finished product, even if others can only see a block of ice. In the beginning, I thought that I'd never be able to do this, but then I started to visualize my future life and I began to see myself helping people achieve things they didn't think possible. Every day I do a little bit more and it unfolds before my eyes. Now I have my YouTube channel. Now I've written my book. Now I see the difference it makes when people use my methods. The people who get to their destination are the same ones who never stop. It's just not an option for them. I've learned to do that, and you also can, even if you think you can't. The story of the tortoise and the hare contains a great lesson. Which one are you? Please visit the resources section of www makemoneyfromphotography.com.au to see how I can help you reach your destination. And before you go, I'd be grateful if you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to stay informed. Remember, be kind to someone today, even if it's you. Bye for now.